Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. I have a really, really fun video for you today, so let's get started. DIY number one. I have this transfer from Chalk Couture and also this chalkboard decor piece from the Target Dollar Spot. So I am just going to try to center the transfer as much as possible. And then I am going to begin chalking. So I'm using the shimmer silver, the red, the white, and the shimmer frosted, I believe it's called. And I'm, um, like I said, just going to do the chalking. <laughs> And then once I'm done with all of the chalking, the best part, look how beautiful. It's so crisp and clean and gorgeous. So now I have this red and natural jute twine from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to tack it in the back of the sign. And then before I do anything else, I am going to remove the hardware from the back. And then I'm gonna take that twine and I wrap it around, I believe it's three or four times. And then I just tack it in the back um, again. And then I am going to just do the exact same thing on the other side of the sign. And then once I have that done, I'm just going to take one of the hangers and add it right in the center of the back of the sign. And that's it for this one. Look at how beautiful this is. It came out so great. I am so in love with it. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you think. Hey everybody. I just wanted to pop in for a second because I have something really great I want to share with you. So because it's a little difficult, I'm just going to say that a family member uh, started their own candle business and they sell on Etsy. And I just wanted to share with you in case you were interested. No pressure. This isn't sponsored. None of that stuff. I just wanted to share with you guys because I think they're amazing. So they are called salt box candle company okay so this one is called a sweater weather so i wanted to show you the uh, label and their branding super cute and it says hand poured soy wax candle so again, this one is called Sweater Weather. I have already burned the apple pie and the apple cider donut. And there was an, oh, falling leaves. They were all amazing. They have super great throw. So I wanted to share that with you as well. This Sweater Weather I saved for last because it's my favorite. I think it smells amazing. It almost has like a, like a minty smell to it. 
there's like a hint of mint, but anyways, it's gonna be amazing. So, like I said, really great throw. And also, I wanted to share with you, I saved the apple pie because I wanted to show you how it burns, okay? Check this out. Like nothing left, okay? So you are getting your money's worth when you get these candles. I ordered, like I said, apple pie, falling leaves, uh, apple cider donuts, and sweater weather. So I went on Etsy to see if they released their Christmas stuff yet, and they have. So I ordered more. <laughs> I have a little bit of an obsession now. Um, so anyways, this one is Balsam Fur. Now they changed the size of the candle, uh, the jar, sorry. So this one is taller, but this one is bigger around. So I think overall you're getting the same amount. It's just a different shape. So, mm, smells amazing. I can't wait. Really gets me into the Christmas spirit. So, balsam fir, home for Christmas. Now this one has kind of like a cinnamony smell, almost like the Yankee Candle Home Sweet Home, but this is just called Home for Christmas. And then I got uh, Saltbox Christmas. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Oh, this one just smells amazing. Oh. I can't, I can't wait. Um, and then gingerbread. Who doesn't love some gingerbread? <laughs> mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, and then the last one I got is winter morning. Oh. So, oh, this is just, it's so hard to explain, but trust me guys, these smell so great. And the throw is amazing. I can burn one and it fills my whole living room kitchen area. So I'm gonna have their uh, Etsy store linked in my description box down below. Go check them out. I promise you won't be disappointed. And again, it's Saltbox Candle Company, and that is their logo. Now let's get back to the crafts. DIY number two. I have this sign that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby, a bag of Buffalo Check Snowflakes, which I got off of Amazon. I will try to remember to link them down below. And these little skates, and I got them from the Target dollar spot. So I am, I was looking for a particular shade of green, which I did not have. So I took some moss and ink chalk paint, as well as a couple other brighter shades of green and made this beautiful color. I gave it two coats and I put it aside to dry. Then I am going to take these ice skates and a couple of these snowflakes that I got off Amazon and I am just going to attach them to the skates. I have some of these white berries that I have 
from the Dollar Tree. They came on one of those, um, the candle rings. What am I trying, like the wreath that you put around the candle. You know what I mean. <laughs> So anyways, I just took a few of them and hot glued them onto the snowflakes just to give it a little more pizzazz. And now that the picture is mostly dry, I'm just going to start um, assembling everything. I did hit it again with my hot, got my heat gun, <laughs> um, just to make sure everything was dry. So now I'm just trying to position the skates how I want them. And then I am going to hot glue them right into place. And then with this string, I decided I was just going to tack it into place um, I, because I wasn't really sure if I was going to put something there to make it look like they were hanging from it. So that's what I did anyway. So now I'm taking some more of these snowflakes and I am just going to hot glue them sporadically around this sign. Then I'm going to take some of this like flocked greenery from the Dollar Tree. I need to go get me some more because I'm almost out. <laughs> I've been using it on everything. I love it. So I'm just taking some of this greenery and I'm just going to add a bunch to this top corner. And then I have some of the larger berries that come in a bag. There's like, I don't know, 20 maybe. And it looks like there's snow on them. And so I'm just taking a few of them and I am going to hot glue them all around this greenery. And that's all there is for this one. I am so in love with this sign. I think it came out perfect. Perfect. I hope that you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. I wanted to let you know that I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I will have all of my links in my description box down below. Stop on by and say hi. I would love to hear from you. DIY number three. So I have these snowshoes that I got at the Target dollar spot last year, as well as this little sled that I also got last year. I'm going to take this brushed metal, it's a uh, silver, and the crimson Waverly chalk paint and paint up the sled. And I'm so slow talking, apparently. Anyway, <laughs> then I'm gonna take these snowshoes and I'm just marking where they're touching the sled so that I can use some hot glue and E6000 to attach the snowshoes to the sled. Thank you. 
Once that's done, I'm going to take some of this jute cording that I got off of Amazon. I will have it linked down below. And I'm just going to wrap around where the two um, snowshoes meet because I took the uh, jute that was on there off. And yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to wrap it around a few times, maybe like five or six times. And that's it. And then I'm gonna take my uh, lighter and just burn off all of the fuzzies. Then I'm gonna take more of that gorgeous greenery from the Dollar Tree. I also take some that has like a frosted look to it and add that all over the sled and snowshoes until I like the way it looks and sorry about my dogs. <laughs> and then once I got all of the greenery that I wanted, I also had some of the small poinsettias from the Dollar Tree and one larger one. So I took the larger one and I put it down at the bottom where the two snowshoes meet. And then I'm going to just hot glue two red and two white poinsettias where I think they should go. <laughs> Once I have the poinsettias tacked down, I have some of this beautiful ribbon I got from Walmart last year, and I'm just going to cut two strips. I make the awareness ribbon, scrunch it in the center, take some twine, tie it up tight, and then dovetail the ends. And of course, anybody who knows me knows that I don't typically like the jute showing. So I took a piece of the red ribbon and I am going to fold it in thirds. And then once I hot glue that into place, I'm going to wrap it around the center of the bow, which will hide the twine and give it a more finished look. And then I will hot glue that right to the center of the sled in between the two snowshoes. And then I am going to take some more of those big berries that look like they have snow on them and then some smaller just red berries and I'm just going to hot glue them all around this piece. And then lastly, I'm just going to take the jute that was originally on this sled and I just made two knots um, to hot glue to the back of the sled and that will be my hanger. And that's it for this project. I think this came out so adorable. I absolutely love this. I hope you guys do too. Let me know what you think. DIY number four. I got this sled from the dollar spot this year and I got these ice skates from the Dollar Tree. And they're pretty small, just so you know. I don't know if you've been looking for them or if you've seen them, but they're not very big. So anyway, I just heated them up to take the um, snowflake off 
And then I'm just going to go, I took some of my Arteza um, gel pens to do where the laces would be. And then I'm just going to paint all of them. I use the brushed metal silver for the blades. I use ink for the skate itself. And then I use the mineral for like the heel or the sole part of the um, ice skate, <laughs> sorry. And then I do take the white Waverly chalk paint and put that where the laces would go. So that's it. And now I'm taking this piece of fabric. It's one of those chamois car cleaner things. It's in the automotive section of the Dollar Tree. And I'm just measuring out a couple of pieces and I'm gonna hot glue them to the top of the skate. How stinking cute do those look? Now I got this bag from Hobby Lobby. It has some white snowflakes in it and I'm just going to take two and put one on each skate. And I apologize that you didn't see the bag. I thought I was in frame, but I guess not. So anyway, I'm going to hot glue the uh, skates right on to the sled. Then I'm taking these letters. They are rub on transfer letters. Um, Sarah from Sunflowers and DIYing sent them to me. And um, yeah, so I'm going to use them for the top part of the sled. And it's going to say, let it snow. Although I say this because it's part of my project. I do not want it to snow. Not now, not ever. Unfortunately, I don't have much say in it unless I move. Because in New England, we get lots of snow. <laughs> Then I have these little like sprigs of, I don't know, pine tree. <laughs> and I'm just going to stuff them in the tops of the skates. And then I am going to use more of those white berries from that candle ring thing. Um, and I'm just going to hot glue those into place right on top of the pine pieces. And then I remembered I had this, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a trim of some sort. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's really, really pretty. It's very shimmery. So I cut off two pieces, the length of the furry white on the skates. And 
I'm just going to hot glue it right to the center of that white fuzzy piece. And look at how shiny it is. It's so, so pretty. And that's it for this one. Look at how beautiful and look how shiny and shimmery. Oh, I love this one so much. I think it's so beautiful. I don't know, just something about it. It's stunning. I love it. I hope you guys do too. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I want to thank you for taking some of your precious time to spend with me. And I will see you next time.